Oh, it's never quiet in the studio. I am just taking notice of the sound from the background. Um, today in the studio, I had to sadly leave the faux wood behind. I will be making the next size up on the chip and dip plates. I think you saw that in the last video. Special thanks for the comments there because that was okay. Okay, you know what our friends are. <laughs> Thanks for the comment on my friend. Um, I had another friend, Eddie Goller from Eddie's Pottery, stopped through this week. He um, is doing a tour. Uh, he visited Guy Wolf Pottery, Simon Leach Pottery, so I guess that puts me on tour with Simon Leach and Guy Wolf. Um, I, um, I'll be happy to, uh, be the quiet one in the background. Okay, let's take a look at Eddie's visit in the studio here last week. Okay, so it's show and tell. Yeah, this ain't oh, show and tell here. I know where you were. Yes. You visited Guy Wolf Pottery. Yes, this I... is the first time yeah. I have ever touched or seen in person. Yeah. That um, I first became aware of his stuff when he was selling through the Smith and Hawkins catalog. Okay. And then um, saw him on Martha Stort and yeah. didn't really become full aware of him until I discovered YouTube in nineteen or twenty seventeen. Yeah. And um, found out exactly who he was and his history. Yeah. He um, was so kind that um, I once commented on from Jug Time Pottery, how did Vernon Owens make those candlesticks? And, oh, I just said that I didn't expect him to answer me. I just said uh, it always fascinated me how he made them because I saw one of them on a shelf in right. the studio. And I was so surprised that he answered and said exactly, he explained how it was done. So I'm going to double fold over to pull out the rim on it. Yeah. Um, really kind and generous in the he's comments. A, he's a great guy. He yeah, really is. Yeah, and and you know, we, we think so much of the richness of earthenware that he has done this with the light color clay body. Yeah, uh, he and works. He works with both. Uh, he works with a dark yeah, and white. Yeah, white. Yeah. Uh, or uh, uh, fairly uh, deep, deep red, deep red, or a ta uh, to a tan. You know. So but yeah. But no, I've uh, I've got that one there. That one's on a that belongs to uh, one belong, uh, some of this belongs to my sister in law and some of it belongs to my wife and this is this is mine. That's the one that okay. I bought when I went to. And this is a number four. four. Yeah. Okay. Oh isn't that it's a, yeah it's amazing. You know it, it is really something that um, uh, that somebody that has Master Potter attached to his name yeah. would put would, that over. Look at that bottom. Yeah, 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 would take on something as simple and humble as the flower pot. I know. And he really has. I just looked at eBay, and um, even there, his pieces are commanding. Um, you know, full price. Yes. Whereas I was shocked. I don't even want to say this. When I looked up, I could have got their candlesticks from. Jugtown pottery uh -huh. cheaper on eBay. I was so glad I got it from them, and it um, yeah, it all went to the, the pottery there. So this is a 2021 piece. Yes, I um, because I he did a video with a custom made piece uh -huh. and um, stamped. So I tried to contact him to have one stamped. I we didn't want to have put Rooster Hill pottery on, but since yeah. it's Rooster Hill Farm, I could not get him on the phone. Yeah. And then I tried to email for getting a piece so I was worried yeah. but I was so glad when he put another music video up okay he's all right because I was worried yeah he's, not, well, he's not a kid no no not, not a kid well, he's uh and let's see he's four he's four years older than I am okay I, I yeah. thought he's, uh, he's close he's, near 70 he's 71 that's it yeah I caught that and yeah. realized that he, I better contact him soon and get yeah. my pot yeah. because uh actually but uh, then if he does what um Warren McKenzie did and makes it to 80 or 92, he could yeah. have another 10 or 20 years yeah. left. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great man. That is, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, he, uh, now, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what he did for me. Uh, my wife and my sister in law yeah. and myself, we, we, when we showed up, he knew I was coming. I called okay. him, talked him on yeah. the phone, and uh, we got there, and 
he, he showed me around his pottery studio and then <clears throat> he goes come on he says uh, we're gonna make some pottery and we went back and I videoed everything and he showed me how to make a 34 pounder and oh yeah nice 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 but yeah I was I was amazed the way he can move that clay yeah, up yeah. and down yeah. the way he does yeah and you know I don't know that that many people are doing that kind of volume you know. Well, he had that. that the one he size. was, the one he was making, was already sold. Yeah. yeah. You know, so at a a, a tune of uh, two and a half. So okay. yeah, yeah. That, that 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 that's some nice stuff. That is some nice stuff. So, but no. Uh, and you know, I, I think this guy holds holds his own. <laughs> he holds his own with them. Uh, and uh, the color we've got that is this a green patina he puts on? It looks like a little greeny brown. I don't know how he did that because yeah, I don't know. You know, I did. I do some garden pottery uh -huh. that, and I oh, I don't want to show that this is not even my own stuff. It just comes out of molds and. Um, and then I just stain it. Okay. All right. But, um, um, I uh, yeah. And, and I sell that's at the nursery. Mm -hmm. I've done that. The, the molds came once with a kiln, so yeah. Okay. But no, uh, I don't think I'm gonna unwrap them. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. basically the same. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, they've got the same yeah. stuff. So, but no. Uh, All right. I thought, man. Uh, you know. And, and if you would have contacted me. Er, Sooner before I went there, and then oh well, I was trying to get him yeah. for the longest time, and then finally I realized, you know, I'm not going to get him on the phone. All right. Okay, let me wrap these up yeah. for you again. I I really enjoyed uh, talking to him, and yeah, and you know, because all the people that he has met and and known, I mean, you know, uh, you know, he's. Like, with Martha Stewart for four different times, and then uh, uh, on her show, and uh, then he was also uh, working with uh, one lady uh, that uh, she, she was her, her maiden name was Tiffany, uh, she, last name was Tiffany. So uh, you know that's uh, uh, he okay. was in, he was in a very good group. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, uh, I, he, I, in the book he's got a picture with um, 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 Michael Cardew. Yeah. Um, and um, he's in the neighborhood where Alexander Calder lived. Yes. So he actually saw Alexander Calder perform the circus with all the wire <laughs> figures and everything. That yes. Is, I, I saw the black and white or the the video of it, the, uh -huh. uh, the film of it in the eighties. Yeah. And thought, oh, this is amazing, and there's somebody who actually saw it happen. I know I had a great time. Uh, the, that trip out east was, was really good, and now I'm headed back home. So, uh, uh, you know, hey. Okay, well, I am so happy. Now we're going to have to find you a pot. <laughs> okay, that'll work. Okay. So that was great to um, be able to hold some of my guy with pots in my hands. So, you know, I like Mike Bowood. I'd put that on the table with his. Um, but <laughs> sadly, I got to put this aside and get back to the chip and dip plates. Um, and, um, you know, I wonder if, if he too, I mean, he really throws his heart into the, the flower pots and the history of them. But uh, his redware too, his... Um, High fire stoneware that um, yeah they they look today they look today but um, there's you can see see the um, whole history of um, the pieces in them too um, and and his music as well that um, you know it sounds today but uh, you can you can hear the history in it um, just as you can hear the history and just the way his pots sing. Oh, I wanted to do some bird baths too before moving on from this. 
and the even harder goal for years I wanted to do them maybe three tier stand them up in this pond sunk in the ground do a faux wood edging around it so give it time it will happen and that is my potter's journal for August 2021 stop back for more from my journal and my toiling away strongly and loudly in the background.